everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I would jump up and down right now, but as you can see, I am actually on the edge of a tower. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I would plunge to my doom, and we are very, very far from home right now, and I very, very much do not want to plunge to my doom, my friends. But welcome back! I can't believe we found another mystery tower, and I think I'm going to go ahead and explore this one, just like we talked about last time, our expedition for Toucan here in this jungle the biggest jungle that I have ever found before I have no idea what we're even gonna call it and if you see this you can actually see where the jungle biome actually crisscrosses other biomes in multiple areas it comes up behind where Tata's is that Tata's temple is that is there a whole nother temple that I missed oh my gosh Tata's temple is right here <gasps> Holy cow, just how big is this jungle? It just keeps going. It just keeps going. There's a whole nother temple over here. The last temple was completely empty though, but who knows? This is amazing. All right, guys, there is clearly a lot to explore, but, but we also have our pockets absolutely overflowing already with treasures and plants. So I'm going to need to be extremely particular about what spots we uh, are poking our little heads in, especially because the main goal are those, the eggs, the eggs that will hopefully add whoop, two cans to our zoo. We have gone above and beyond searching for these toucan eggs, and it has been an amazing expedition, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so this is going to be the last temple that we explore out of all of the temples and towers that have been showing up lately. We will go ahead and as we're going home, we'll fly by that temple down here to see just what it is. It looks like it's actually cut in half by the biomes, which would be like really cool if it's some sort of epic temple crumbling into a ravine. That would be amazing to see. And I do want to continue flying on Sunflower. I, I don't know what to call this. I almost want to nickname it like the Amazon or something because this jungle just keeps going. It's amazing. What do you guys think we should call it? Uh, okay. Whew. But now that I've gone ahead and told you guys the plans, I need to be brave. And we're actually going to try to peek inside this temple. There is a non-zero non chance that I could be completely blown up and lose uh, everything until we come back and dig up my grave. Not really looking forward to that. Not really looking forward to the idea of like, oh, I would have to return and dig up my grave. So, let's see, I can put some of these plants away. Uh, where did those impatience? Oh, they just popped right up in here. Let's see what I can put away into my pack. I really hope I don't get blown up. That's like very high on my list of hopes. And let's go ahead and put away like my silk tuck chicken pickety, uh, the gold helm of the gold helm of darkness, which is the new special crown we found. Um, I do have my underwater breathing helm. I keep forgetting I carry that around too. Uh, glorious grafter, I might need you. I have a bunch of fossils. I don't really need this damp grass, but it'd be really nifty to have. Where's my toucan egg? Still safe over there. <sighs> Okay, no more dilly-dallying. We might get blown up. This may not go the way I want it to, but I want to go ahead and poke around inside of this tower just a little bit. Okay, don't know if I should touch that pressure plate. Okay, there's a door. Okay, don't freak out. So far so good. There's a bed I could stay in. Oh, cool. It's just a little light to be able to turn on a little bedside lamp. Is this going to be some TNT that's going to blow up? Is this is this not a is this a fake chest? <gasps> it actually has stuff inside. Oh my gosh, a scarab gem. <gasps> and a fossil record, the legend of the scarab. I don't have this yet. We've got creeper heads and zombie heads in here and more iron that I could turn into more of my uh, my wonderful fantastic shears to gather more plants with. Um, also some yellow bell pepper seeds, which are not very common, but I just don't think I can gather them because they're plant mega pack seeds. Okay. All right, so far so good. I haven't been blown up yet, oh, but I definitely think, yeah, this particular, this particular block looks like one that will possibly shoot me. I don't want to touch this 
pressure plate. I want to be very careful. Okay. Ouch. Did I just get shot in the back? I think I just got shot in the back. <gasps> the back. What is this? Hardy gold figurine of mining places cakes on solid surfaces when used health boost passive uh, effective pickaxe slows down all mobs when dropped <gasps> that's so cool we have another treasure you guys look at this oh can i actually can i craft the display pedestals because i'm tempted to take the display pedestal with me all right recipe Oh, they're really easy to craft. We're okay there. All right, so it apparently will give us cake. <gasps> it gave me cake and it gave me a health boost. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this. There's also... Okay, hopefully that looks like there's some arrows that could shoot out of there. There's an enchantment table. And the, is that a... What is that, like a compass? Oh, that's so cool. I love watching the enchantment table. That's so awesome. I kind of wish we had room to take some of the um, some of the books from the bookshelf. Moonworm Queen, are you with me right now? Moonworm Queen, my dear. I could use another one of your children. Just right here, thank you. And maybe one right over here. I really need to feed her at some point in the near future, but we'll put her away for now. I also have, I know one of these pockets. Yeah, gold and iron. Okay. Well, that gives us like the hardy gold figurine of mining. Oh, and now that I used it, it's actually not as good as it was. Fooey, I'll have to remember that. Uh, a scarab gem and a fossil record from here so far. Should I continue on? Ooh, okay. This may be one of the towers that doesn't immediately blow you up when you come in, but sometimes they trick you. All right, that looks like it's a trick. There's a whole bunch, and then we'd have to figure out how to get out. Okay, what is this? <gasps> There's a basement! Oh, should I take the basement? Okay, Moon Moon Queen, I'm gonna need you, dear. So sorry. All right, I might wanna go down the basement. So let's clear away this string. Okay, it looks like there's actually, is that a trap? What is that? It could be a trap. There could be like, there's something hollow right under this spot and i and the way these are usually enchanted you can't like okay i did manage to mine that up is that just leaves oh it's just leaves that grew in that's interesting okay so leaves actually grew in in a layer that is so cool okay so i think that it might be safe to come into the basement or it might blow me up but i'm gonna explore this tower all the way <gasps> The heck? Why is it full of attack chihuahuas? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Why is it full of attack chihuahuas? <laughs> I think it's full of like evil demon chihuahuas. What is that nonsense about down there? I can't believe this. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't want to get nipped by them, but I want to know what's in the chest. Ah! Okay, let me go ahead and eat an apple, because an apple a day will keep the attack chihuahuas away. <laughs> what do I even do about this? Uh, let's see, I have a couple cobblestone pieces. Can I make like a little fence? I really want to know, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of like house up in here for just a second. And I'm gonna try to make like a little fence or something. Uh, let's go ahead and get some planks. And then I'm gonna get a crafting table. There we go. I think I have some extra chest. I do have some extra chest over here. What is going on down there? I can't believe this this swampy tower had attacked chihuahuas in the basement. Uh, and those are not like little chihuahua things that I can actually tame. They're like 100% the hunter has influenced these chihuahuas, kinds of chihuahuas. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and maybe get like a chest set up. Maybe I can put a few things in there just to clear my inventory a teeny bit. I'll be back for you plants, don't worry. Don't worry, like the string can stay in there. Uh, all right, and then what would it take just to make like a fence? <laughs> Cause I don't think I would need much, just just a little fence, just a, a tiny little fence. There we go. 
All right, let's see if I can get a little fence set up so the attack chihuahuas don't get me. Ha ha! Take that, little ones. All right, Moon Room Queen, I'm gonna need you. So I, oh, that's a golem. Oh, that's so cool. Moon Room Queen, your assistance. Uh-oh, there we go. For some reason, her children didn't stay over there. All right, so here's what I think is going on down here, guys. That is a golem spawner. And what it will actually do is it will spawn fake things. So these look like chihuahuas, but let me try poking it. Yeah, did you hear that? They're not actually chihuahuas. They are actually little golems. So this is not, <laughs> ah! And they just kind of like nip. They don't really do much, but forgive me. I need one for science. What happens? Okay, and yeah, see, it drops clay, so they are, they are an excellent, <gasps> can you imagine? I, I guess they just get regenerated straight back, like I destroy them, but then the little spirit would probably pop straight back into the golem spinner. And so we could actually use this as a great resource to gather clay from. What's in here? Aw, man, I don't want to have to destroy the golem piece. Can I use a silk touch on it? Okay, I really don't want to destroy it, but I really want to know what the treasure is. Oh man. Okay, little attack chihuahuas. You get to stay here forever. <gasps> clay pattern stamps and another fossil record. What? I've never had clay pattern stamps, but this is unfortunately, and three heads. Huh. This is unfortunately not worth having destroyed the golem spawner. So maybe one day I can like find a wizard to like put the golem spawner back because that was really cool. Okay. What am I going to take and what am I going to leave? Oh, there's so many things. Okay, so wasabi leaves, might take that. Fragrant fern is definitely coming. The pick, prickler weed I wanna take with me so we can leave the fence and I can put the extra chest back away. There we go. And I guess I can put my treasure into my special backpack. We should probably be cleaning this backpack out anyway because um, it is way over full of stuff. Okay, let's see, saddle. We have literally, <laughs> stuffed as much as we, Moon Room Queen, I might need you. We have literally stuffed my pockets about as full as they can possibly go. This is amazing. Uh, but there we are. There we are. Okay. Well, I'm glad we did that. I'm sad I destroyed the golem spawner. It wasn't really worth it, but I actually don't actually have uh, yes, I actually don't actually have the clay pattern stamps. They are treasure. You can't craft them. I think you can get them from the villagers in trade sometimes. But yeah, you can't craft them. So let's see if we can go ahead and take a little snooze. Nibble some of this cake in the bed. Ow. Ha, huh, there we go. That was fun. Attack Chihuahua Golems in the basement uh, a nice little library I really where am I going here oh this is the this is actually to the very top can I keep can I please okay that's fine oh it's invisible that's so cool that's really nifty okay oh that's so cool okay all right and here we are kind of in our no, our own little like natural launching pad to put sunflower back down but all right guys so i definitely want to come back to attack chihuahua tower which is what we are going to call this one now uh attack golem uh attack chihuahua chihuahua hmm i can't never remember how to spell chihuahua i think it's like that but i'll have to double check attack chihuahua tower Oh my goodness. We'll be back one day to hopefully replace the golem spawner, but I don't know if it will ever again spawn attack chihuahuas as it once did for us. So I'll be more careful with the other magic in the future. But all right, Sunflower. So that little journey can be checked off. Let's go ahead and see what the temple over here. Are there two temples? There's something going on right over here. So let's go ahead and fly along the edges. There are two temples. <gasps> what? What? Oh, it's one of the fossil and archeology span temples. This one's an easy one to explore. Golden sword and stone tablets, emeralds, obsidian, stone swords. Oh, this is so cool, sunflower. Let's fly over to this one. 
Is this also? I think this is also a fossils and archaeology temple. Oh, look at this. It's overgrown with leaves. That's so cool. This is one of the like most awesome temples I've seen. Little skull lantern. This tree destroyed whatever may have been over there. That's awesome, Sunflower. Okay. So we have a Tak Chihuahua Tower and twin jungle temples. That is just too much fun. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? There's the third one. This is going to have to be... Maybe... Oh! <gasps> Maybe this will be one of the locations that we build our archaeological research centers in. That would be awesome to be able to have like another spot where we could have our archaeological research going on. And the thing is that the swamp would actually be a great location to do that in because uh, I don't really get a lot out of swamp biomes, so I'd be okay with digging down into them. It looks like this one actually has like a few natural caves too. And it appears to be... Oh yeah, look, another natural cave. It appear... What? What is this? It appears the archaeologists have already been here, friends. What? There's an archaeologist here. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, this adventure just keeps going one after another after another in amazing discoveries. There's literally a archaeologist hiding in his tent here, possibly waiting for the rest of a group who has not yet arrived. Um, he seems a little scared, so we're going to go ahead and, and maybe like take some deep breaths. I'll get Lily and Tate out. We'll go ahead and talk to him for a little bit. We're here in a flower field. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that we have found another place to absolutely love in our world. But all right, I'm going to clean up and get our wonderful puppies out. And then we will greet this mysterious archaeologist. Definitely have to start setting up some like exploratory parameters now to figure out the archaeology digs that we could do here. Maybe even finding some dinosaur fossils too. Oh, and... I will see you guys next time. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, I wanna get ready for our friend. Do please leave a like if you are as excited as I am about our newfound archeologist, just as I was talking about making an archeology span center. And if you guys wanna join us for this and thousands more adventures, you know what to do. And most importantly, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye